is more of a, a jazz gospel type singing. Um, I use it as a, my voice as like an instrument, listening to like Louis Armstrong and how he would actually manipulate the horn. And I use my voice the same way, so. Kenneth Cartwright, wow. Kenneth Cartwright is from my home state. He used to be uh, the drummer at my church. And he's a praise and worship leader. Good God, love him very, very much. He calls me rabbi. Bishop Norman Hutchins, to me, is, I didn't have a chance to really listen to Andre Crouch growing up. My dad did, but my dad spoke um, Andre, uh, highly of Andre Crouch. Well, Bishop Norman Hutchins is my Andre Crouch. Um, I believe that every song that, every week I have, and, I, and, I, and Bishop knows this, every week I have a Norman Hutchins day where I just play all of his songs. Um, I go through his whole catalog because to me he's my favorite artist. Um, so that's, growing up, I would start out as, as his drummer at the church and I would watch him, I watched everything that he did and his song Jesus I Love You was the first song that I actually cried on as, as an adult um, and it, it's just, that's one of my favorite songs in, 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 this, in this lifetime. This young man, uh, he has, in my opinion, he would be like, he would be like the Brian McKnight or baby face of gospel. He has such a smooth voice and his way to uh, communicate uh, through song. And uh, he let me hear a song one day. I didn't know it was a songwriter, but he let me hear a song and it's called, uh, I Believe It. Man, I tell you, that thing just, it just pierced me right at the center of my heart. And uh, so we got together and uh, recorded that. About on the, on the way here, um, on the airplane, and I, and I, it's like when Superman steps inside the booth, we pay attention to Superman, but it's the people around him to see him go in the booth and then make the transformation. Uh, I watched Bishop do most of his songs that I've, I've been privy to watch in one take. And by the end of the song, you're, whoever's in the room, the mouth is just open, it's wide. It's because that transformation, he gives it all he, he has. And that to me is, an, for an artist, that challenges me, number one, to uh, just give it all you got. And that's a great lesson. So working with him, he's, he's funny, he's a very, very, very uh, comical person. But when it comes to his craft, and when it comes to his preaching, um, he's the best to me. He, you know, so, and uh, it's just, it's a, it's a pleasure that I never thought that I would, I would be able to experience. And uh, he's like a sponge right now. He really is. He's learning, he's growing, and, uh, and it's people like that, you know, that will experience a major season because you, what you learn in secret, God rewards you openly. I believe uh, there's been a declaration for me. Two years ago, I was in a car accident. I was hit by a van. I was driving a motorcycle and um, and this is before I believe was re recorded and it broke both of my legs, both feet were broken. I was wheelchair bound for probably about uh, six months, couldn't walk. But I would hear a song that I wrote about nine years ago and it's I Believe. And I would just play it over and over and over again while I was in the hospital. And it's just God speaking to me and said, you know what, I can show you glimpses of what you're going through, but the end result is you believe in every promise, every spoken word that I've, I've spoken to you. And that's, that's, I listen to it pretty much all the time just to encourage myself.